Create a new Easy Backend with npx Easy Backend in it, followed by your folder name, or create it in the current directory using dot. This generates a boilerplate, which we run with npm run ezb. A UI automatically generates at localhost slash dbui, where we can see the created models. We can define a new model, specifying the table's name in the database, giving the person a name of type string and an age of type int, which will become columns in the database. Add the person to the main app under the route prefix person-url. Save the file. Creating the person creates a table in the database, by default SQLite, and creates create, read, update, and delete routes automatically. We can also view all the entries in the database and create, update, and delete rows directly from the DBUI. Which is nice, but what if we need custom endpoints? We handle custom endpoints with a new easy app. When we perform a GET request to the Hello World app, we return a Hello World. Finally, we add our new app to the Easy Backend main app, which we can now test from our API documentation. We can also specify a URL prefix, which will apply to an app and all its child apps, or specify the route extension in the request itself. We probably also want a way to handle user inputs, for example, in a POST request. We can get values from the URL in request.params, the JSON data posted in request.body, the query fields in request.query, and the headers used in request.headers. We can also do the same for pretty much any HTTP request like patch, put, or delete. We can add authentication with npm i add easy backend off, and import and add the off plugin. Create a easy user, saving the user's data in a table called user, and allow users to log in using Google. We can add the user to our app under the URL prefix user. Now run the app, but we are prompted to generate a secret key. Use the command for your OS to generate a secret key for the auth system. When we rerun the server, it prompts us to add a client ID and secret. Rename the sample to .env and update it with your client ID and secret. When we rerun the app, we find routes for login and logout. We can log in with the login endpoint, which creates a login session that stores the user. After login, the user is stored in the user database, which we can access like a normal easy model. Which is cool, but there's no point if our endpoints are not protected. To protect an endpoint, we set a function that runs before the endpoint code. If the user is not logged in, we can throw an unauthorized error. Make sure the Hello World app is added to the main app. Save the file. Now, if you try again, the database refreshes. The user no longer exists, so the route throws an unauthorized error. But after logging in, the route now works. To protect access to an easy model, we access its easy router. For the create routes and update routes, we set the pre-handler. If the user is logged out or not an admin, he will be unauthorized. Give the user a boolean isAdmin field. However, there needs to be a default value. So set the type to bool and the default value to false. Now, if you create a person, it tells us unauthorized. If you log in, it still tells us unauthorized. But if we set admin to true, then we are able to perform the request. Which is nice, but we don't want the database to be deleted every time the server restarts. We can change this by setting the ORM option and setting the database to a local file. Alternatively, we can use Postgres by specifying the Postgres options or MySQL using the MySQL options. To wrap things up, Easy Backend runs on Fastify and Type ORM under the hood. Hence, anything that will work for Type ORM or Fastify will also work for Easy Backend.